Good morning, we are so happy that you are here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. So James and I are just starting out our morning playing and our plan now that Christmas is over and we're getting back into our swing of things at home, we are going to watch every Disney movie. We'll see, like, I'm gonna go through a list um, in chronological order. So I will link the list I've always used below when I've done this in the past. It's like a Wikipedia list. Um, and we'll probably do like an old movie and then a movie I know he likes. I mean, he's pretty into Snow White right now. Um, but yeah, it's not like we're sitting here like truly watching every minute of the movie, but we just typically have a movie on in the background. Um, and he needs to get familiar with the classics and who knows, like we might find something new that, new but old, <laughs> that he likes a lot. So that is how we're starting our first day back at home. And we have some unpacking to do today. And I also have uh, my anatomy scan with Teddy today, so I'm Hey, James, are you watching snow? And I really don't think there's any hiding our mess these next few days, so disclaimer there. You got the Cheez-Its? James, you got wooden instruments from, for Christmas. He's loving them. Also, his eye is swollen. This kid can't catch a break. We're, we're just monitoring it. We don't know what would have caused it. Oh, are you gonna play the Cheez-Its bag? Alrighty, it may be too windy um, for this clip, but I'll be short. I am headed into my anatomy scan. My nerves are pretty high. I have some relief because I just had like our sneak peek ultrasound not too long ago. So it hasn't been a long time since we've seen the baby, but it's just like the biggest appointment where you get all the measurements and I'll have so much peace of mind after today. So hopefully I'll get to record the baby a little bit and I'll see you after. Excuse me, sir, you did not nap very long. Did you know that you did not nap very long? <laughs> Here's this baby. And I am home from seeing our other baby. Um, everything looked good. They are measuring one pound, three ounces, which is like the 43rd percentile, which they're really happy with. Um, the only like concern there is, is that my placenta is posterior and lying a little bit low. Um, so it's like a little bit closer to my cervix than they would like it to be, but there's nothing like right now to like to be worried about. Um, as my stomach grows and the baby grows, <laughs> um, my uterus will move up and it'll bring the placenta up and away from it. So I will have another ultrasound in like four, like like four to eight weeks. They're kind of flexible on it. They're really not worried. Um, just to make sure that it does move up because it could be concerning, but like right now it's just kind of something to keep our eye on. Um, I will put in some video of the ultrasound pictures here. We got a really cool one where his mouth is like wide open and you can see his little tongue. Where's your tongue? Bleh. Bleh. You eating Cheez-Its? 
Are you ready to go to Aunt Christina's house? Oh my gosh, big kid alert in this new car seat. All right, since we are going mostly plant-based as of today, we are going to get some I Dream of Falafel to go as we drive to the south side. Feels good to be back in the neighborhood. Super quick, super easy. It took like four minutes. Uh, Uber Eats, take up. Six and a half hours later. Look at this mess of a back seat. Back of the van. I gotta organize like the strollers from the trip. That's the old base of James's car seat because he's in his big kid car seat now. And then we've got Christmas presents that we'll show you when we get home. But we can officially say now, Sarah's throwing away the garbage. We can officially say now, Sarah, you might want to be in this shot. After how many months? Seven months? Eight months? We can officially say your mom's estate is closed. Oh my goodness. Finally, like we had, to, we had to do one last little thing tonight with Sarah and her sisters, and it's done now. Yeah, it's it's not easy to do, so we, we <laughs> Especially dragged when it's it unexpected, out. unplanned from a person who was unexpected, unplanned. Yeah. Oh dear. You want your bottle? Oh, the eyeball. It's one of my favorite views of this skyline. Can we go downtown soon, Peter? Deal. Deal. Did you mention how we had like finally Christmas too yeah. today? What? Yeah, I showed the stuff in the back of the car. Right. So I don't know. Did you vlog it all while we were there? No. I did not vlog it all while we were there. Um. So we got stuff finished with my mom's estate, but also. It was our day to finally exchange Christmas presents with my sisters. We literally have not seen them in over a month because regular sickness in the families and then us having, us having COVID and then us going to Disney. Um, so yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy couple of months. So we were able to finally exchange gifts. And we got some cool stuff. We got this pizza stone that also has this like, the wooden like paddle situation. Well, that's cool. As well as this cool kids artwork frame made specifically for artwork. We also got this pasta machine and drying rack. Apparently we're gonna be doing some cooking. And then James got his own pasta kit. So this is like felt pastas, all different kinds. So stinking cute. And then Jamesy also got these little golden books, Jungle Cruise Space Mountain Haunted Mansion. He also got, um, Christina had given him his small world book when we had COVID and she just like left us cookies and whatnot on, on her front porch. She had already given him small world. So those are super cute. And then he also got a really cute sweater, which I feel like Peter would totally wear. And a new wearable blanket with stars and constellations and rocket chips on it. I don't know what all quickly infect your mind even though you just decided with your family that you might just be stepping out to just the dopey race after princess this year is to look through three years of run disney events because we've done almost every single one of them medals? since we started yeah medals um i wanted to show you all my marathon and dopey medals and i thought like so this past marathon was my fifth like quote unquote official marathon but that was counting London virtual, but I don't think I got a medal for London virtual, so now I'm not sure if I want to count it. But I did do the Daytona 50k, so it's like because I've done three Disney marathons, one Chicago, and then the virtual London, but I've also done the Just Daytona hard, 50. You've trained, you like ran a marathon in training, in training, but I want to show you my dopey medals over the years. All right, here's dopey 2019, my first dopey ever, and then. The marathon, which was still just a Mickey marathon. 2020, 
the year of all the spinning metals, AO, um, was the year that they switched the marathon to being Mickey and Minnie. Prior to that, Minnie was the 10K representative. And then this year, you've seen recently, very cool. Marathon, the iridescent vibes. And then for a kicker, you guys remember this, my Chicago Marathon medal, and my little Daytona 50 Marathon. Because <laughs> it was the smallest race of that weekend. There was a 50K, 50 miler, 100K, 100 miler. And so this was the shortest race, but it was a 50 kilometers. My were longest gonna, race. Were you just feeling like you needed some inspiration? No, I was gonna, I brought the box out earlier because I was in that closet. Because I shove all my medals in a single box, in the closet shoe box. But I went to go put this year's away. It's too full. So we have to figure out a new way to store them. So I thought, hey, let's look at all my dopies. And it's probably good that you, you haven't ran since the marathon. Right. Think you'll run tomorrow? Yeah, I'll run tomorrow. You heard it here first. Evie, what are we gonna do about these Christmas sheets? She just wants the, the snacks. Look at that nose going. <laughs> Sarah is neglecting to tell the bond out of a very crucial detail. <laughs> Sarah's neglected to let the world know that she was hankering for McDonald's. On our road trip, I got it, and we didn't check the bag before we drove away, and there was no barbecue sauce. So it's going to be really upsetting if this McDonald's shows up at midnight with no barbecue sauce. Did so, you pause Anthony? I'm going to drink this athletic brewing company, Run Wild IPA, non-alcoholic beer, and some plant-based uh, spicy... Pea snack. <laughs> Porkless pork rind pea snack. You are strong. I'm trying to be. It's day one. And I'm. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Alright, well, it's 11 45, so. McDonald's. <laughs> Sarah, did all your dreams come true? Yeah. Did they remember the barbecue sauce? They did. I got two. Congrats. Thanks. Let's hit this This is my wall. Alright, so we're finishing an episode of Queer Eye, even though we should be asleep because the baby's been asleep for a while. I know, you did a great job tonight. Did you love your McDonald's? I did. And it was all fresh and delicious and really surprised Thank you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> um, I had a fig bar. And? And walnuts and... Those fake pork rinds. Fake pork rinds that Christina gave me. Um, and your beer. Yeah, in my athletic brewing company. Um, it's a low-key kind of vlog, but uh, the important stuff we had to finish tonight. And we made the promise you heard on the vlog we're going downtown tomorrow. Yes. After work, obviously. It's supposed to be like the warmest day of the week. Actually, today might have gotten warmer than I was supposed to. And I planned to That's go cool. to... Wait, we'll see. Um... Yeah, I'll just have to figure out what we're gonna do. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>